awesome ones. Well, if you're like me, you've got lots of clothes, but, well, at one time anyway, I couldn't figure out what the heck to do with them all. You know, I'd still wake up in the mornings and going, oh, how am I going to sort out something to wear? And uh, I figured out five different ways and it's working for me now and I'm going to share it with you in just a few seconds. <laughs> Now the first way that you can always have clothes pretty well ready to go is put a monochromatic kind of look underneath. And uh, you can see here I've just got the whole black, under black is very uh, slendering as well. Um, and I'm going to pair that, I'm going to just do a few different looks here. I have um, a blue jacket, you can see how that looks. And let's change it up, it's still the same underneath and uh, we can change that up for a vest. I've got a gray vest here and you can see uh, that changes up and don't forget about the jewelry too. The jewelry really makes it. Um, and then for the last one I went more for um, really a jacket kind of look with this particular look. Now um, remember too with the black underneath that you could uh, change it up into you know maybe capris or a skirt or something like that. Now let's go for the next look. Let's go to a completely white underneath here and uh, again I've got the shorter pants on because uh, the shorter pants are kind of really in style right now and we can work with this with um, you know maybe a little bit of uh, a black jacket um, over top that really kind of classy black and white look and again I'm just going to do a very light flowing kind of uh, jacket or cardigan I guess you can call it uh, to work in the summer months so there you go and don't forget shoes and also jewelry really help you. So if you've got those basics underneath, you need a few jackets, maybe some sweaters, maybe a cardigan or two, you got it going on. So my number two tip is to put stickies on some of your hangers. Now you don't need to do this for every single outfit, but this is just um, actually two post-it notes put together and then I tape them together and then I put a hole punch on them. And sometimes I buy clothing and I'm thinking, well, I, I want to buy that, but I'm definitely going to have to wear a camisole underneath it. So for those kind of outfits, I've got, um, like here's one right now, and I'll show that to the side right now. I said here, wear a nude bra and you have to wear a beige camisole uh, because this is see-through. <laughs> I remember one time I ran out and... Uh, I forgot the camisole and thank God I remember the bra, but um, yeah, you don't want to do that. And then uh, for the next outfit I have here, royal blue short sleeve top, white pants or white capris, silver black and blue necklace, big silver bangle, big silver earrings, black sandals or blue and white pumps. Geez, I really had this one going on with this one. So again, I put the whole outfit together on this because I actually, you know what? I actually don't wear that outfit very much and I think I'm going to start wearing it. Anyway, I don't think I've ever worn the, uh, the top in a video yet. All right, and then I've got this purple top. And I remember buying this and thinking, I love this, I love this. But without a camisole underneath, forget about it. It kept sliding off my shoulders. Also, without one of those strapless bras, it looked ridiculous. So um, here I have um, thin black cami under, um, black thin stretch pants, um, no, no uh, strap bra, silver necklace, um, circle drop earrings, big silver bangle, hair up in an elastic, and messy. <laughs> All right, so there you go. So as again, I said, these do not go on every single one of my, my uh, clothing pieces, but if I really see them, I know, okay, this is cami time. Now, the mother of all of my organization has to be these little photo books that I put together. And 
I actually did a video about organizing your wardrobe. I'll put the link up there somewhere for you, but uh, I find these fabulous. So all I do is, uh, you know, I'll, I'll play some music or something, take an afternoon, maybe even into an evening, and I start trying on all these clothes. Now, if you look at the pictures, all I've done is I've taken a selfie here of myself in the mirror, and then uh, it's on my phone, and then what I do is I send it to me in an email, and then I take that photo and put it on a Word document. It sounds really complicated, but really it's pretty easy. I do a lot of the writing and everything myself, so I don't even have to get involved in the Word document too much. It's just basically spacing two pictures on a page. And then, of course, I put these into um, summer and spring outfits. Let me just show you a little bit here. So summer and spring outfits I've got, you know, a nice little uh, black and white kind of look here some color, uh, some with Capri, you know, so I've got it. I can just look at this. Some are no sleeves, uh, short sleeves, and I just take a look at this. I've even got my shoes in the pictures and say, oh, you know what, I can wear that one today. And here's a little glimpse at um, fall. I have to update this a little bit, but, you know, jean jackets and um, stretchy pants and vests and all types of things that I can wear, um, leopards, leopard look uh, scarves, sweater jackets, the whole thing, and I put them all together there. So um, that really, really helps. And I really suggest you take a look at that video too, because there's lots of things on it about sorting the, clo the clothes in um, maybe in colors in your wardrobe or finding maybe a f something that you just love, like a certain kind of V-neck sweater, it fits you perfectly. Buy it in a few colors so you can mix and match. But uh, this idea, I love it. Love it, love, love. Oh, and by the way, I do these beauty and fashion videos every Friday and some lifestyle, food, exercise, those kind of ones on Tuesday. So uh, if you want to be a subscriber, just hit the subscribe button down there and then hit the bell and you're going to be notified uh, when these videos come out. And uh, we have an amazing community. You know, the comments are amazing. We all kind of help each other out too. So come on down and join us. So number four, hey, everybody wants to jazz up their wardrobe a little bit. So uh, I kind of look at what trends are going on. And what I generally do is I just go to the mall, look at the windows, maybe go to a few boutique shops in my area and say, oh, wow, you know, pink is really trending. So you can see in this particular um, video or video shot that I have right here um, that I'm wearing a pink jacket. So um, I purchased that pink jacket and it really helped to uh, work with my wardrobe and jazz a lot of things up. I could wear that with pants or a skirt or jeans and it's it's really fantastic. Um, maybe you're just going to go and uh, you want a kind of a Parisian look. Oh, by the way, I did a video on the Parisian kind of look. It's a very classic kind of look, and I'll put a link for that up there as well. And um, hey, maybe all you need is a striped top. And so I'm showing this kind of striped top with the, uh, the black jacket and the pants. And of course, the ballet shoes, they really kind of made that look uh, put together as well, um, along with a little purse there. So um, you might want to go out and get something like a jean jacket. Jean jackets are really popular and you're kind of looking at your little jean jacket and going, eh, you know, it's not looking all that great. So here I am in a jean jacket and boy, I get a lot of mileage out of that jean jacket. I wear it with dresses and pants and skirts, all kinds of things. So yeah, just go to the mall or a boutique shop Pick yourself something up that really kind of works with what you're looking to do and jazz up the wardrobe a little bit per season. It's kind of exciting in it and just adds a bit more variety. Oh, and by the way, I will really try hard to find some of the outfit um, 
that I'm showing in this particular video. I can't always get the exact one, but I'll try. Um, also, Amazon accepted us uh, to have a storefront. So you'll see that in the description as well. And basically I've got the makeup I love, the hair care I love, um, some of the other fashions that I love, even Bill's fashions and the dog things. So uh, you make sure you check that out. It's uh, amazon.com slash shop slash awesome over 50. You'll see it in the description and we'll also have it in the blog. And oh, I got to tell you this, um, we make a little bit of commission you don't pay more for the item but we make a little bit of commission and you guys are rocking this for us thank you so much you not only buy the the shirt but you also buy your groceries and other things too and you know what it's really helping so thank you so much for doing that appreciate it so last but not least have a few go-to fun items or the authentic you type of items. And uh, yes, I did a video on being your authentic self in clothing and I'm gonna put that up there because sometimes we lose that, you know, like let's just say that you're a realtor and you wear your black jacket and your, you know, or whatever, you just really have to look professional when you go out to those listings. So you wear that kind of outfit and you kind of lost the fun part in your life. Um, or let's say that you're a nurse and you really do wear a uniform um, and that's your kind of uniform that you wear to work and maybe you've lost the authentic self. Maybe, maybe you like jackets with fringes on them or something like that or, uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna show you just a few of them. So you know I'm a crazy Yorkie <laughs> mole. If you don't know it, you know it now. I found this top and I just said, oh my gosh, I have places I want to wear that crazy Yorkie uh, top. So I got it. And um, in the next outfit, I'm, yes, I'm a child of the 60s, you know, peace <laughs> and harmony and love and all that kind of thing. So when fringe jackets came into um, trending, I decided to buy one and you know what, I still wear it now because I absolutely love it. It's so me, it reminds me of a, oh, I don't know, a more peaceful kind of time and that's why I love to wear it. Um, also, I just went to an Eagles concert and I picked up this hoodie and yes, Women over 50 can wear hoodies and check out the back of it. Life in the fast lane. <laughs> anyway, so I just saw it. It spoke to me. And that's what happens. These kind of outfits speak to you. And here's a lot, another one that I want to show you. And this is my sexy dress. And uh, as you probably know, I'm over 60. And I don't call myself 60 anymore. I call myself sexy. And I think that we got to get our groove back. And with this particular dress, you know what? I put these clothes on, whether they're fun or nostalgic or sexy like this one. And I say to myself, I'm going to walk out the door. I'm going to own this look. I really am going to own this look. And with that mindset, I not only own it, I rock it. So there you have it. If you follow these five tips, you're probably going to rarely wake up in the morning and say, I have nothing to wear. <laughs> and a little guy here, I'm just going to give him a little treat right now. Because <laughs> he's been sitting here patiently, but uh, he never has to worry about something to wear, do you? No, you absolutely don't. And uh, little hurricane, you usually see him in our videos. We call him the cuteness factor and he shows up in the beauty and the lifestyles and the, the food and the exercise. You show up in almost every video, don't you? So, uh, and the other thing I wanted to mention to you, and I rarely do this ask, but once in a while I'm going to, Bill and I, we found this, um, it's like a little crowdfunding um, thing for, for YouTubers. And what it's called is Patreon and we're at patreon.com slash awesome over 50. I'm going to put the link down in the description. And uh, what it does for us is it kind of acts like a tip jar. So we're sort of saying, you know, it's not expected, but if you wanted to uh, support us with $5 a month, we would be eternally grateful and it really helps us to keep on going with these videos. So thank you so much for that. And the other thing is, 
we don't just stop there. We're not just going to take that. We're just going to also have um, a special email for you if you're part of, um, I think we're calling it the Awesome Over 50 Club. And we're going to have special behind the scenes videos. We're going to have special Q and A's. Um, we're getting some t-shirts and some mugs. So we'll have a draw every month for uh, one of those. And we got a bunch of other things up our sleeve too, right, Bill? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, a deep, heartfelt thank you if you do support us that way um it's much appreciated because we want to keep on doing this we love it so much so in the meantime i really hope that uh your mornings are a lot easier with some of these steps that and tips that i showed you and that you know you can just go off into the world a little bit happier a little bit more restful um share your awesome smile and until next time We'll see you later. Everyone's invited to subscribe and join us on our videos.